Hello, and welcome to Case Closed. I'm Charlie Langton, your host. We'll soon go inside an actual courtroom in the Warren District Court to see real small claims cases in action. Under Michigan law, small claims cases may be brought by individuals seeking $3,000 in damages or less. Neither side may be represented by an attorney in small claims court, and the judge's decision is final. Now, let's take a look at the case of the check is in the mail. Thirty-seven district court is in session. Oh, Judge Schmer presiding. Please remove your hats and shut off your cell phones. Well, you have a landscaping company? I do. And the name of it again? Shady Lane Landscaping. Shady Lane Landscaping Company. That's your landscaping company. Okay, and you did some work for Mr. Davish, apparently. Yeah, I've been doing work since uh, two, uh, 1998. It's been about seven years. And quit making payments um, last year in July. Um, continued cutting the lawn for him. Like I said, he's been a longtime client. Um, told me the check was in the mail. Kept cutting and cutting. No check came. Talked to him again. Check's in the mail. No check came to this day. Do you have a contract or anything like that? Yes. Let me see what you have. signed this contract that looks like April 1st of last year. This was for weekly lawn service beginning April 18th. This would have been last year through Halloween of last year. Um, and you have some other things in here, fertilization it looks like. I just want to know how much he owes you on the contract. Right. It looks like 198 is that right? That's right. Okay. All right, you can have a seat there. Mr. Davis, your turn. How come you haven't paid? Yes, Your Honor. My wife, she sent a money order, but the problem your is... Your wife is where? She sent a money order. She sent a money order. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir, to him. And then uh, the problem is we lost the receipt. Honest to God, Your Honor. I don't know what happened to the receipt. And matter of fact, I owe him 140. 140? 140 only. How yes. do you figure 140? Because uh, we stopped we stop, uh, uh, stop from using the company. And I believe either August or September. Well, why did you why did you stop paying? Because uh, no, no, we my wife she sent her money order, but we we lost the receipt. We don't know what the receipt is. But have you been paying him? Yes, yes. He says he hasn't gotten any money. Well, from we sent the money order. I don't know what the money order went to. Well, why did you? I don't understand it. You. How, how much did you say? Did you pay him for the whole year, the rest of no, the year? No, no, no. Well, you stopped paying it. Yes. Well, why did you do that? Because we sent him money order. That's why. So I mean, why? I, I mean, the grass, the grass stopped growing in September. We stopped in September. Well, and that's when he stopped. Yes. The last cut looked like yes. September. Yes. I, I owe him. I owe him. I owe him 140 only, and I tell him I want to make it as a payment to you. He said no. I don't want it. I want to go to court. I said fine. You want to go to court? Uh, I'm looking here at these invoices. Is this, is this this is a residence? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, I've got a series of invoices here that I'm looking at. Let's see. It looks like the lawn was cut last July, July seventh, fifteen dollars. Yes. July fourteenth, fifteen dollars. July twenty first, fifteen. July twenty eighth, fifteen. Late fee, five dollars. So that's $65 through July, or for July of last year. And there's another one from the previous month, June. Um, five cuts. In the, June. For June, starting June 2nd to June 30th. Five cuts. We, 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 we pay him, Your Honor, honestly, God. We pay him for that money order. Do you have any receipts? Or no, Your you Honor, honestly, God, I don't know how to get the receipt. Well, you know, it makes it hard when you don't have receipts. So, Your Honor, it, it doesn't make no sense. Why, why we don't pay him? I mean, it don't I don't know. He says he hasn't gotten the money. Yeah, I know, but we sent him money order. Why, why we don't you, pay him? You pay him? Why, why, why we don't pay him in the past two, three years? Why, why we stop paying him? I don't know. That's, I guess, that's why we're I here. Mean, it doesn't make no sense, Your Honor. 
Well, it doesn't make any sense that he should say that you're not getting that he's not getting paid either. Right, right. I mean, but is he I, making this up? But I believe I owe him 140 only. Honest to God, Your Honor. Honest to God, that's not a defense. And no disrespect to God, but in court you need a receipt or some kind of proof for your case. Let's see what the judge thinks. And I'm still not sure why you didn't pay him. Because we, we sent him money on But that means you paid him. Right. But you're saying you didn't pay him for right. July, August, right. and I mean, September. Maybe you, I, I got off out of my, my maybe, mind to pay him, Your Honor. Maybe what? Maybe I forgot to pay him. Well, you forgot to pay yes. him for three months. Yes, Your Honor. See, the problem here, Mr. Dabish, is you don't have any good records about the make payments that you made. And you've already admitted that you forgot to make some right. payments. So right. it's, it's kind of hard for me to believe that you only but owe Honor, $140 you're, you're, when you can't remember very much here. I've got these Honor. very detailed invoices from the plaintiff. I know. You're, you're, I, I, can, I can tap any kind of invoice I want if I got a computer, right? Well, sure, but you don't even have that. Right. right. <laughs> but the problem is, I mean, I told you, I, I only owe 140 He's given me very detailed invoices and right. statements showing what he did for you, when he did it, how much he charged you for it, and the right. payments that he received. Okay? Right, and right. when you look at all those numbers, it's $198. All right, all right. Now, you admit that you owe 140 of that. Right, 140 And you yeah. admit that you didn't pay right. because you forgot. Yes, sir. So I tend to think that you probably forgot another $58 somewhere well, in there, too. That's I, I, I doubt it, Your Honor, but it's okay. Can right. I pay it in part time, Your Honor? Judgment will be entered in favor of the uh, plaintiff in this case. Can I, can I pay it in four time? Can you what? Can I pay it in four payment? Well, technically, you owe the money now, all of I, it now. I don't get the money. I don't well, then, then you're going to have to make arrangements with Mr. House here about how you're going to pay him. If you I want, tell him. I, I tell listen him. Listen to me. If he wants to take payments from you, he can take payments from you if you want to work out that agreement. That's between the two of you. That doesn't involve me. Okay. Well, but but you wait a minute. You owe it all now. Right. Okay. That's what a judgment. How much? Is. How much I got to to pay him? Today. Technically, legally, you have to pay it today. I don't, I don't care that much money. Well, then, then you got to work out something with him. Okay. Right. Maybe you could sell the Elante in the garage. <laughs> Hundred ninety-eight dollars. That's what the judgment will be for. I'm going to add to that costs consisting of a $25 filing fee and a $23 service fee, bringing the total amount of the judgment to $246. Uh, you need to pay that right away, sir. I'll return these to you, Mr. House. You're all set. You have a good day. A detailed invoice is a contract, plus there was an admission by the defendant. The judge made the right decision. And by the way, in small claims court, the judge's decision is final, and there is no appeal. So if you lose, you better pay now. After the break, we'll come back with the case of Gone with the Wind.